Hello, Leo. I'm Julie here with our weekly meditation. As you know, the best way to handle our stress and anxiety is to slow down and focus on the breath. But for some people, focusing on the breath can actually produce more anxiety. And for some time, sometimes focusing on the breath isn't enough. We need more than just that. So it can help to combine techniques, sometimes to engage the body to uh, help us elicit the relaxation response. We've done some of that with a walking meditation, with progressive relaxation, where we tense and contract our muscles, and even with a mudra meditation that we did last week when we put our fingers together. I'm gonna teach you a new technique that was shared by Judd Brewer. He's a psychiatrist, a neuroscientist who focuses on addiction and habits. And you might hear him if you listen to some of those meditation apps that I have shared. This is a simple but effective technique. It's called the five fingers breathing. And it focuses, it calls on several different senses at the same time. So you're focused on more than just your breath. And it helps cut through the stress and anxiety so you can find yourself in a calm, peaceful frame of mind in the present moment. And of course, that is when we can elicit the relaxation response. So get into your comfortable position feet on the floor. We're going to keep our eyes open this time. And you're going to take your hand when you're ready. Face the palm of one hand toward you. And then you are going to take the index finger of your other hand and place it just below your pinky. And you can attach your breath. I'm going to attach the breath to the movement, but you can focus on the sensations if that is better for you. So on the in-breath, you're going to trace your finger up to the top of your pinky. And on the out-breath, you're going to trace down. And then on the in-breath, you're going to trace up your ring finger. And on the out-breath, you're going to trace down. So do this with me. In-breath. Out-breath. In breath, out breath. And then your thumb, in breath and out breath. I'm gonna turn the camera so you have, you can do a little forest and field bathing. And then go the opposite direction of what we just did on your own count, at your own pace. So starting with your thumb, the outside of your thumb, trace up with your index finger on the in-breath and down the other side with the out-breath and so on. Watch your finger, watch your hands as you do this. Right, so just to talk, when you get to the your pinky, I just want to say a few more words about this. You're watching your hand, you're feeling your fingers, at the same time you're paying attention to your breath. So this is multi-sensory. You're seeing and you're feeling and doing breath awareness. This actually requires a lot of the space you have in your brain that's used for your working memory, what you're using right now. And what that means is you can't do everything at once. You can't focus on five fingers and two hands and your breath and worry at the same time. So while you're doing this exercise, you might find that you forget what you were worried about for a minute. Or you might have a different perspective of the worry. You might see it differently. Or maybe you can just let those worries and thoughts go. Just let them be passing instead of something that requires your attention and your action. And as you continue, why don't you continue tracing your fingers? As you continue to do this, you calm down your nervous system. You calm down your stress response and elicit the relaxation response. And then when 
your thoughts come back, maybe they don't have such a hold on you. They're not as convincing. What did you think about that? I think it's a really great meditation, really gets you out of your head really quickly. This is great for adults. It's also great for kids. It really helps them manage their emotions. If they have a schedule that's disrupted, this helps them feel a little bit more in control. It's a nice habit, nice practice for before bedtime, before naps, before meals. And you can even have your child, if you have children, walk you through the five fingers breathing technique. So give it a try, test it out. You can even do it, you know, when you're on a call, you just look down at your hands and trace your fingers for a minute. Just help you slow down, get in the relaxation response for a few minutes. Sorry, there's mosquitoes out. Can you believe it? Mosquitoes already. I will see you next week.